Jason Hollis Farms this morning. Just breaking daylight. Hadn't been light long at all. I'm in the little Toyota Tacoma. I'm headed down to the shop. We are going to be working on the Tacoma today. I have made my mind up. I was going to get rid of the Tacoma. We've been making so many trips down to Mississippi, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, I really like the Nissan Titan. It's a super nice, clean, good ride, and it's just a nice truck, but, oh, excuse me, my Dr. Pepper's getting to me. Oh, nothing gets good gas mileage these days. If anybody out there drives a truck that gets good gas mileage that's new these days, that runs 70, 75 mile an hour about everywhere they go, and tell the truth now, comment below and let me know. I can get pretty decent out of the Nissan. You know, if I run 60, 55, 60 miles an hour, I can get, you know, between 16, 17 miles a gallon. But who wants to drive that slow and who drives that slow all the time? I don't. So, you know, they don't make, I don't know why in the world Toyota quit making these trucks with a four cylinder. So what I'm fixing to do, I'm finna pull it in the shop. I got to jerk the toolbox off and uh, we're gonna do a little work. We're fixing to gear the little Toyota up for traveling back and forth to Mississippi quite a bit and turn this little thing into our hunting ride. I mean, this truck ain't got but 127,000 miles on it. So I think, you know, this thing running around, you can get 18, 19, 20 miles a gallon. And I like the little truck anyway. So we fixing to gear this baby up and get her ready for hunting. Man, I got to clean this shop up one day. That needs to be a project that we do first thing we're gonna do I am gonna finish this Dr. Pepper and then we're gonna jerk the toolbox off oh me and then I'll show y'all the next part of the project but let's see if I can find me some tools in here to it's my coffee for y'all that don't watch all the time, this is what my coffee is like. All right, let me grab some tools up, out, and uh, see if we can get this toolbox out. All right, let's see if I can find y'all somewhere to sit right there. <clears throat> see if we can get this toolbox off the Toyota. We have got some body work to do. Probably gonna have to get the 5065 involved in the other part of this project here in a minute, then I'll be interested. I am not a body man for sure. I'll show y'all when I get this box off. Got right, I'm going to turn y'all around. I'm coming to the other side. Alright, here we go. That one ain't even tight. I wish this little truck was a four-door. And I got to do some studying on it for future. I don't know if they ever made a four-door the four cylinder in it. Uh, y'all can comment below if y'all know that. This is, I'm not sure what year they quit making the, uh, the four, four cylinder and putting it in there. Alright, let's see if we can't jerk this baby out. Alright, let's see how Yeah. 
shut down in there, didn't it? So, how y'all like? Yeah. All right, I'll be, let me jerk this thing out. I'll be right back. All right, so here's what we got to do. The only dents I've ever seen on this truck to mount anything is right here. See how that's bowed against the cab? Of course, the toolbox kind of covered it up. But what we're going to do today, oh, I can't quit burping. This right here needs to be straight, so I got to figure out how I'm gonna get it straight. I thought it had a lip, and it may. We may have to jerk this bed liner out. And gotta figure out what I can hook to it to pull with. All right, y'all, so I decided to do what I'm gonna have to do. I gotta pull this bed liner out, and then I'm gonna show y'all why. Look at all the crap under the bed liner. It's not good for the bed. I may end up putting a mat in there, but I'm not putting that back in there. And I may take this off. But we have got to figure out a way to straighten this. Like I said, I'm no body man, and I don't want to slide the bed back to do it. I have to do some thinking here for a minute. Alright, so whatever slid in this truck dang the cab up a little bit. We gotta get this rail just a little bit straighter. It's hard to get to. So I am going to see if this pry bar will do any good as bad as I hate to. Just almost good. I ain't about got it straight. I got a little hiccup right here. And it's rolled just a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can get it back. How straight y'all think it is. We didn't even have to get the tractor out. We'd probably pulled it in half. We got the tractor out. Not too bad. A little bit snaky. 
I believe it'll be all right though. All right, so now we're gonna wash this thing out. This is all the mess that was up under the bed liner. Worse, it's not going back in there. I ain't gonna rust your bed in half. Enough dirt in there to plant a green field. All right, y'all got the bed cleaned out. Got the shop back out. Fixing to uh, vacuum the inside out real quick. inside here as it was out there in the bed. Alright y'all, before our next part of the Toyota venture today, I decided to go ahead and put a little soap on this baby and clean her up just a little bit. Probably be the last time for a long time. This is gonna come pretty clean. Pretty good for an old truck. Shining again. Look pretty good. Alright y'all, so I made it back to the farm. Here's our new updated version. The Toyota Tacoma project. Got the bumpers on it, got tires and wheels, leveling kit, airbag system on the back. Been kind of letting her sit for a while. Been wanting to do this for a long time and hadn't done it. The new A-R-E camper shell. That's what I call them. Camper top for the Toyota Tacoma. Everybody says I look like a grandpa now, but I think it's going to be nice. Going to be able to put stuff in here and not have so much stuff cluttered up in the cab with me and Pete. I ain't decided if I'm gonna put a, uh, I'll probably end up putting a rubber mat in it eventually. This thing is neat. I mean, we're gonna be able to put stuff in here, keep it dry, not have the front cluttered up so much. I really like it. Got a couple more things that I'm gonna do to the Tacoma and this is gonna turn into be a neat little hunting truck especially on the gas mileage with this little four cylinder motor back and forth to mississippi 90 miles you know we go about every day that's gonna be nice be probably a lot more use be fuller more full fuller whatever you want to call it during turkey season because end up hauling a bunch of junk during turkey season but we'll wind up during deer season too but anyway i've been to load some stuff in it out of the nissan and I think we're finna go deer hunt, so we'll be back. Alright y'all, me and old Pete loaded up in the little Tacoma. We're gonna head over to Mississippi. Try to have a little quick afternoon bow hunt. Kinda warm, warming up. I'm gonna have to come out of this pullover and put something a little thin thinner on, but we'll run down there and hopefully if I get out there in time get back in some hardwood and 
to see what happens. Get up in a lock on. I'm gonna try my new tree arm I got from Buddy out. So takes a little while to get used to that, get set up, but we're gonna try to get started this afternoon. started out over here and peeled where I had the camera pointed if it uh, if it would have turned right I'd have had a good video I mean you can I went back and watched the video you can kind of see him buck and all I know it I had to kind of stand up and I don't know I know I eat it I thought I saw blood coming out behind his shoulder. I bet it's been at least it's been at least 15, 20 years since I've sat up my lock on it. it maybe not that long, but close. 
I know I hadn't set up my lock on on it like it since I started with the hunters and that's been 10 or 12 years. I bet it's been 15 or 20 since I hunted like this. Ooh, it's so green in here right now you can't see far and he slipped up in there. I had had a doe and a little one behind me that I couldn't get the camera on. I like this camera on. I want one a little longer. I couldn't hardly see the viewfinder. I knew he was looking at something, and when I shot, another deer took off. I don't know what it was. I'm not sure I can climb down right now. That's good stuff. I love hunting like this. I used to never wear a safety harness. I've had this thing a long time, but... I'm putting it on because my balance ain't as good as it used to be. All right, I'm going to gather up and get down there and try to find some blood. If I see some blood, find my hair or whatever, I'm going to go back to the barn. Two squirrels running up down the tree. You just don't see stuff like this when you see the shooting house. That's what's so fun. I'm going to go. If I find some blood, no, I should have brought Dodge or Rose, and I plan to, and I just got married and didn't, but I'm on for sure. Go get beat. And get the Ranger if I find some good blood and come on back in here. Oh, that's good stuff. It's some decent blood. Not as good a blood as I'd hoped for. By the time I get peat and get back, it'll probably be 45 minutes or so, and it's getting pretty close to dark. So I'll hustle on back, get peat, and get a good light. Maybe we'll get lucky. I hope I made a good shot. I got to put it fired up. That's All right, y'all, so we headed it in. Something tells me it wasn't that good a shot, but maybe it was. All right, y'all, the blood trail ain't quite what I thought it would be. I looked up a second ago and saw two big old hogs, so I went back to the ranger and got my rifle. I'm not sure. Pete ain't bumping them hogs. I ain't sure. He may be tracking the deer. I don't know. He's pretty excited. I'm going to keep tracking his blood. All right, y'all. So me and Pete made it back to the truck. My dome light don't work in the Toyota. I got to work on that. But Man, I am sick. Very sick. I thought I made a good shot on the deer. Apparently not. Track blood for a long way, several hundred yards. Oh, he got to kind of zigzagging, turning, and be a big spot of blood there like he stopped. Oh, definitely not enough blood to bleed out. I don't know if, uh, I, when I look back in the foot at the footage in the stand, I saw a limb move. I don't know if I nicked a limb. I ain't trying to make excuses for sure. I, I know I probably got in a hurry trying to get him in the viewfinder and all that stuff. And of course, really the first hunt like that in forever. I don't know. I just, I got shook up and that's what it's all about. And I love that feeling, but I hate this feeling when it happens and it ain't the first time. And if you continue to hunt like this, whether it be a gun or bow, it's going to happen. Trying not to beat myself up too bad about it. I, I have fooled with these hunters long enough to know that 
Lots of times when a track like that happens, the deer will show back up again and be alive. And I'm, that's the best I can hope for right now. So, But anyway, I don't know. Just sick. Just sick. Happy, very happy with the camber shell on the Tacoma that when we get that organized and worked out right, I'm going to love that. But sick about this deer. But anyway, me and Pete's going to call it a day. And go to the house and get up and go again in the morning. If y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us, Hollis Farms. Hats, t-shirts, and stickers, hollisfarms.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.